What's up, y'all? Winston Wolf here. Just want to do a quick review on Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm crashing at my buddy's house right now, so I'm trying to be respectful, not wake anybody up. But I want to first say that uh, this is by far one of the better Marvel movies. It's my favorite Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire was one of my favorite movies of all time. Still is, but as far as being true to Spider-Man, I feel like this hit it right, hit the spot right on the nose, bullseye. This movie was it. Um, so, the movie starts off with them on the European class trip. Nick Fury runs into, into him. He's like, hey man, we need help. There's some shit going on. Spider-Man's like, nah, I'm good. I just want to kick it. I want to chill with MJ, yada, yada. So they go out on like a gondola or some shit. All of a sudden, this elemental, this big water creature, that's what they call them, elementals. It's not Hydra Man. They don't have Sam Man, none of that. These are just, these are just generic creature villains whatever the fuck so he it comes through peter parker he don't got a suit down plus there's a shitload of people around so he's like damn he slips off grabs like a carnival mask fucking starts web slinging around trying to figure out how to stop this big ass water creature that's knocking shit over it looks like it's gonna kill people it's gonna kill his classmates all of a sudden bam mysterio pops up starts hitting him with some green beams uh starts having some green shields kind of like dr strange so him and uh, uh, Peter Parker, they defeat this fucking elemental thing, this giant water creature. So then they have a meeting with Nick Fury right afterwards at a secret shield base. Maria Hill's there. Uh, he meets Mysterio. He has a whole story. Him and Nick Fury kind of explain it, that he's from another dimension, that these elementals have taken over his planet. They fucking destroyed it. And because of Thanos' a snap, it opened a multidimensional portal and he comes through. And these creatures are now on Earth. They're going to take over the Earth and he's here to help stop them. So he's got, and he's got a story about his wife and everybody he loves dying, yada, yada, whatever the fuck. He's got a wedding ring. And he kind of looks like Tony Stark. So he's got the beard hair slicked back. Uh, and, you know, you could tell Peter's looking at him and like, all right, man, you know, you know, I just lost Tony, this dude. You know, he's a cool dude. He's complimenting me, whatever the fuck. So, you know, he's being, you know, he, you, you could tell he just, he's already looking up to him. Um, so then... Uh, Peter Parker, he gets from, fuck, I think Happy or somebody, he gets Tony Stark's glasses, and he has a program called Edith on that shit, and Edith is, uh, just like Jarvis, just like another one of those fucking AIs, just like Karen, and, uh, he puts the glasses on, and he can fucking see what everyone's typing on their phone on, on a, on a bus, they're going on a trip, and then, uh, this fucking dude has this picture of fucking Peter when one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents was giving him the black stealth suit that you've seen. He walked in on him, and it looked like he was having sex with the fucking shield, about to have sex with the shield agent. So the dude takes a picture, and he's like, "Bam! I'm gonna show this to MJ. I'm gonna cock block. I'm gonna fuck her because she's she's bad on you know on the low. Like you know we we've seen her in real life. We know how bad she is, but you know how they try to ugly her up and that shit. But he's like, nah, fuck that. I'm trying. Yo, I see, I see. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get Peter out the way with this picture, and then I'm gonna fuck her on this trip. Blah blah blah." So fucking, so they get back on the bus. Peter's like, fuck Edith, yo. We gotta help stop this motherfucker from texting her this fucking picture. And then she's like, yo, is this dude a target? He's like, yeah, this motherfucker's a target. So bam, all of a sudden, cuts to the fucking Stark satellite, shoots out a pod. You've seen, you've seen the similar fucking type of shit with uh, Avengers Age of Ultron when they shoot out the Hulkbuster suit. So it shoots out a fucking pod, comes down to fucking Earth. Out comes a fucking drone and shit comes up behind the bus fucking targets the fucking dude fucking peter's like oh shit like some fucking uh like fucking wacky comedy shit where he keeps dropping the glasses and the drone's about to kill the motherfucker in the in the back of the bus that they're on and fucking peter pops out the top hits the drone and shit uh, so anyway, so he realizes, he's like, man, this is fucking too much responsibility for me. I don't know. I'm just a fucking 16-year-old kid. So he goes, meets with with uh, Mysterio. He's like, here, man, I want you to fucking take over this Edith shit with all the Stark's fucking weapons and this fucking AI. So he's like, here, take these glasses. I'm going to give control over to you. And fucking Mysterio's like, no, nah, man, no, he, he fucking gave it to you. Stark gave it to you. And he's like, no, he's like, Stark knew I would make the right decision. And I think, you know you're the next fucking iron man he was like so welcome to the avengers gives him the fucking glasses and he's like all right and fucking tone and then uh peter leaves they were like in a bar all of a sudden the bar starts to fucking dissolve like some fucking matrix shit 
and fucking there's like a, a couple of real people in there and fucking uh mysterio jake gyllenhaal is sitting there with glasses on he was like he was like didn't i tell you it was gonna be easy he was like now get this fucking dumb suit off me and then you're like what the fuck is going on here then you find out they're at like a little after party him and about eight ten other people that they're all former em employees of, of uh, tony stark and he took jake gyllenhaal's barf technology and turned it into the fucking uh therapy shit and i forgot what he wanted to use it for i don't know fucking weapons i i really don't know and there's a whole bunch of other people in there that, that uh he had fired or fucking taken their ideas or just whatever just a bunch of disgruntled employees from stark and in, in, stark industries and they all got together to fucking get revenge and to get a hold back hold of fucking edith because they all had something to do with what edith became i guess in some way so he's fucking got control and now he's just gonna fucking just cause a big old fucking catastrophe over in europe because he's got all these fucking drones now these stark drones so now he can make the fucking uh illusions gigantic and then but well, what he's gonna do is he's gonna have it make it look like uh mysterio's coming in and saving the day so he's gonna be the hero because he's he's a fucking narcissist whatever wherever the fuck he's fucking getting drunk off power so uh so fucking spider-man is he's like man fuck that man well first him and P fucking peter parker and fucking mary jane go out he's about to give her a necklace he's like i got something to tell you and she's like i already know you're fucking spider-man and then she's he's like what no i'm not spider-man she's like well you know what about this she pulls out this fucking thing drops it out of her backpack drops up drops it on the ground a hologram of the fucking first elemental the water ship pops up fucking peter parker sees that shit he's like what the fuck you know, kind of like when uh, Luke hit R2-D2 and accidentally popped up the fucking Princess Leia shit. So, fucking, it, you know, it plays a couple times, and then they just put two and two together, and they're like, oh, shit, this is a fucking hologram, yo. I fucking gave power. I gave Edith to this fucking dude that is a fucking charlatan. Oh, fuck. So they go back and fucking, uh, they run back to the hotel, and Peter's like, you gotta stay here because I want you to be safe. So he fucking, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to go get Mysterio. So he walks outside, Nick Fury pulls up on him, he's like, get in the fucking car. So they go to a fucking shield uh, facility and shit. And then all of a sudden, to me, the greatest Marvel sequence of all time, uh, Mysterio hits him with some shit straight out of the Arkham Asylum games. Uh, like when Batman gets hit with uh, the shit by the Scarecrow, the gas, and has those hallucinations you finally see some shit like that in the movie and it's straight up out of the comic books man it's it's a mix between the comic books and the fucking arkham asylum uh hallucinations it is a fucking great scene where mysterio just fucks with fucking spider-man non-stop and it is the visuals are fucking awesome whoever put that together bravo so then uh fucking spider-man eventually he's walking backwards and just doing shit throughout the hallucination and then he gets hit by a train so he fucking wakes up he fucking comes back he's like all right i gotta put a fucking end to this shit so fucking uh mysterio's like all right now here's my big plan i'm gonna do this big ass thing and it's gonna look like mysterio comes in and saves the day so they come up with uh they release all these drones it looks like this giant elemental is about to fuck up the whole fucking city i think it's paris the Spider-Man comes in, starts fucking with shit, and then uh, he ruins the fucking hologram so that people can see the fucking drones. And then uh, he ends up, you know, webbing a bunch of drones up. He knocks out fucking Mysterio, uh, gets the glasses back, shuts down all the shit so that everyone's safe. And then he goes back. Uh, him and MJ finally fucking kiss for the first time on the bridge. Uh, there, you know, there's like a bridge with like red cars and shit from the battle, blah, blah, blah. Kisses MJ. Uh, then they go back to America and there's a nice little scene with fucking Flash Thompson where, uh, everyone's family is waiting for the kids at the airport for them to get back from their, from their European class trip. And there's just the, uh, the chauffeur and he has a sign and it says Thompson and Flash walks up to him and he was like, oh, and he says something like, like, uh, mom couldn't make it, and then, you know, the limo driver's like, nah. Which, I, like, it's little touches like that in the movie that I thought was good, because that adds depth depth to the character. I'm sorry, I'm tired, my mouth is dry. Depth to the character, to where he's not just 
hey, hey, dickhead, you know, like in, in every scene. So, you know, I thought little touches like that is what's going to help keep this franchise going way beyond, way beyond three movies. I think they got, you know, so much. Like, after you, after you see this movie, you're going to be like, man, this can run for literally decades with this cast. Um, and then, uh, he basically goes web-slinging with fucking MJ, you know, kind of like, uh, Superman when he takes Lois Lane flying. And then, uh, did, 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 the after credit scene, I did not see the after credit scene, but I read about it. I guess that, uh, J.K. Simmons comes back as J. Jonah, and he is on a billboard, and him and MJ, they get done web-slinging. And uh, they land, and he says he knows who Spider-Man is. It's Peter Parker. And then they, I guess they cut right there, and they show uh, Spider-Man and MJ being shocked as fuck. And then the very last after credit scene, apparently, is you find out Maria Hill and Nick Fury in the movie were scrolls. And that's why they, were, they trusted Mysterio. They just made, like, really bad decisions and shit. Just their decisions. They made really bad decisions and shit, so that kind of explained it. They just, you know, they're not as uh, bright as uh, Nick Fury and Maria Hill. So, but uh, but uh, apparently Nick Fury is on the Skrull ship and he's taking a hologram vacation, kind of like the holodeck in Star Trek. And then he comes out and, and he's like, all right, he's like, they they're they're relaying they're relaying Jesus Christ the information. To Nick Fury of what happened on Earth, and he's like, "All right, now it's time to end my vacation, come back to work." Oh my God, fuck! In my in my vacation to come back to work. So that explains why uh, Nick Fury and Maria Hill were kind of fucking stupid to trust Mysterio, and so that sets up uh, J.K. Simmons. And I want to say something too, man. Fucking hell yeah, to fucking Marvel to to recast J.K. Simmons as a uh, J. Jonah. Because, yo, do y'all remember when fucking Lex Luthor, when it was just, we just all agreed as the fucking world that uh, my man from fucking Breaking Bad was going to be Lex Luthor in the fucking Man of Steel movie. We just, or in fucking Batman vs. Superman. And we were just like, yeah, that's like, of course, who else? Who else? And then they give us fucking Jesse Eisenberg. Come on, man. I understand they wanted to go left field, but you can go so left field, you ain't even in the fucking ballpark. You ain't even playing the game no more. Like, cut that shit out. Yo, Marvel, everybody was like, bring back J.K. Simmons. Marvel was like, what? You want what? Bam! J.K. Simmons, bitch. Back. Back. So props to Marvel for that shit. But yeah, definitely a good movie. I'm gonna watch the fuck out of it many, many, many times. Um, but again, that fucking sequence where uh, Mysterio totally fucking mind fucks him for a good three minutes is one of the best it's right up there with that uh beginning sequence in doctor strange when the ancient one i believe that was her name i'm fucking tired if i'm wrong but uh when she shows them what the fucking real deal is and all that crazy shit happens i thought that was the best sequence up until now the shit with mysterio takes the cake Spider-Man Far From Home, I give it five dog bones. I definitely think it's the best Spider-Man movie, one of the best Marvel movies. And I will see you motherfuckers later. Motherfuckers, have a good night. And fuck off.